What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Sarah Dietschy, Rhymes with Peachy if you're new around here. Today we are talking about the ultimate iMac desk setup. It's not just about one desk or one computer, but I'm kind of redoing an entire corner in my apartment. So if you like that stuff, stick around. Part one of this, why an iMac? Well, it's quite funny. I actually enjoy the iMac for all the reasons that I dislike MacBook Pros. There's ports. Oh, there's a ton of ports and an SD card slot. It's also upgradable. I bought the iMac with the lowest RAM and just bought it off of Amazon and upgraded it myself. apartment is kind of small so I wanted an all-in-one uh, there's really no room for a PC tower or anything like that I needed a nice display good value for good power so this is the ninth gen i9 version yes it's kind of pricey but I think the 5k iMac and I've said this multiple times on my channel is one of the best value products you can get from Apple the p3 color gamut display 5k 27 inches the ninth gen i9 all of the specs just go so nicely together and again it's an all-in-one so i back so now i'm 30 percent mac os and still 70 percent windows so this is my first uh, mac os machine in probably a year wow and the last reason is i get so tired of being like hunched over at a laptop at home and i need more power than my laptop so this solves those problems you know i'm already on the road so much so to have a desktop setup to come home to boom it's fantastic okay let's get into the setup so again we're redoing everything so desks included we've been working on basically like a 200 dollars ikea desk which is pretty long it's great um but it's run its course it has some faulty legs it's just getting dirty so it's time to upgrade the desk and thank you so much to my friends at fully for hooking us up with two jarvis sit stand desks they're the same desk i have in my office and i love them so much you can program them to the different settings you want. They go super high and they're pretty easy to build. I got the light maple wood option, which is very similar to the wood in our apartment. It just matches beautifully. It's so sturdy. It's so well built. And also beyond just the desks, they have awesome chairs. Again, same chair that I have in my office with a Capisco, Capisco, Capisco. Pisco, Capisco, Pisco chairs. They form to whatever way you want to sit. They're great support. They make you sit up straight, but also if you want to slouch, if you want to move around, they basically support whatever movements. And also some final touches of decor. Changed out some shelves, a chair, but also shout out to the John Hill Pro skateboard deck. I think it adds a nice little flair to the space. So the space is less messy, easier to do work in. You know, you need a productive environment to work in but also cable management wouldn't be a desk setup video without it since this desk is the first thing that you see i have all my cable management tucked up here we have the jarvis wire tamer where i keep all of my power up here so you only have one cable running up um, and so when you walk in you really don't see any of the wires so i think it's pretty good wire management right because when you're standing right there you can't you can't really see anything, but John has a lot of other things to plug in. We went with a desk mounted fully surge protector, um, clamps onto your desk, super clutch. And then also we have one of those boxes where you just keep a surge protector in there and then run the cables in and out. And then I basically just clamped all the, the cables together. And then you always have to worry about it being able to function and not pulling in the cables when it's at a standing height as well. John sits right next to me and he works here a lot, but he's also always on the go working in coffee shops. I usually just go to my office, but I, I can't stand working in coffee shops. But because of this, Everything he does is on a laptop, so I didn't want to like stress out finding a desktop solution for him, but he could really use a second screen because again, always crouched over at the laptop. If you're spending multiple hours, it's good to have a desktop, to have a second display set up. So what with the LG Ultrafine 5K display, it's gorgeous. It would honestly be the perfect pairing with my iMac. But again, New York City, not a lot of space. We are crammed in a very tiny space and that's why I have my ultra wide at my office. So, you know, I'm good. John. What's up? This is your desk area. Yeah. 
you literally have your laptop on a on two pairs of shoes. Right. In the beginning of your birthday present is in this box. Let's go! And it's, it's just the beginning. Because you work a lot here and you're stoked on your podcast and stuff. This yeah. is step one to like making that setup epic. Oh. Yeah, I, my brain's going crazy <laughs> thinking of what it is before I open it. I mean, it's just a really nice uh, monitor that you can plug your MacBook into. Well, because I'm nervous, but... Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> so basically what I have at the office is a monitor stand that clamps onto the desk. So we'll be able to like really make it a nice setup where you can scoot it like to the side when you're not using it, basically. That is amazing. You know like, what I'm most stoked about is when people come and visit, they won't go, wait, that's Sarah's setup <laughs> and that's your setup? <laughs> I know the sh the shoe boxes have made me so sad. Babe. I know. I'm sorry. I just it's so I have. Thing. Listen, there's like a bajillion other accessories that are coming, like desk stuff that's gonna make it like the ultimate a setup. A bajillion other. Whoa. Oh my gosh, dude! This is straight up Christmas. Huh? Oh, I'll see you later, babe. <laughs> Bye. I have one Thunderbolt. Uh, three USB-C, okay. God. The point of the first setup, to show you that it can still remain minimalist if you need it to. Okay. And then we'll hook up your computer so you can see the full setup. Okay, do I dart my eyes around? And yeah, 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 yeah. no, you can, okay. Oh my gosh. So the general setup. Okay. Is, you know, you still have your laptop, you'll have a keyboard and mouse. Okay. But everything you need for the monitor is right there with all the wires all clean oh and stuff. Gosh. So it can go to the side when needed. It can like do many different motions. Okay. You basically just like make it do what you want to do. So it's nice and clean. You have your you have your table power outlet, which is so clutch. There's two cables. This is just a normal USB-C that connects into the computer. Okay. So you can plug like a hard drive or whatever. And then this U this USB-C is the Thunderbolt. So this is what you plug in to your computer. Okay. So you have a stand. You can use a stand if you want. Okay. But say you're just chilling right here. And you just want your second monitor, but you want the dual monitor setup, right? Yes. <laughs> And it, like, can't you imagine like the two oh screens? Oh my god! Podcast using the and look how versatile this the arm is. You can really do whatever you want. You I'm know? so hyped. And then you still see New York. You still got the view. Oh, and I forgot to mention this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, what the heck is that? It's like the Elgato mount thing. Whoa. So look, you can stick your phone here. What? And you can do a live stream, whatever you want. And if you need it lower, you can always lower the disc. Oh my gosh. And then if you need to do a camera, mm -hmm. this is just the, on the thing. Okay. So you basically put oh, your right, camera right. on the Joby mount and then nice. you can put your camera up there. Amazing. It's, it's incredible. Fun. No, I'm honestly having a great time, but I feel like you're going to be at the desk. <laughs> like so I'll go to the other room and hang out until you're done with the desk. Yeah. Please. Should I move? So it was a fun little birthday surprise. It has the Thunderbolt 3 connection where you can just hook it straight up to the MacBook Pro. It also charges the MacBook Pro through that Thunderbolt 3. It's a super color accurate display similar to the iMac with the P3 color gamut. It just looks beautiful. Again, we got some bezels on the side, um, but it's a great pairing for a Mac setup. Now, if you're not totally jiving with this monitor for any reason, it is nice that it has a webcam because he He's always kind of FaceTime and Skyping for his podcast, but I would also check out the LG 32 UL950. I've done a video on this in the past and that's just a gorgeous display. Also, similar price range, similar vibe of using it as a second display to pair it with a laptop. I enjoy both of them. They're both great displays. Um, and again, all of this will be in the description below. Moving on to the setup you've all been waiting for, the 27 inch iMac. Um, beautiful, great. This is uh, the most important thing right here. We have Frank. This is either Frank one or Frank two. The other Frank is up here. Don't have to take him out on a walk. It's really great, but provides some morale. This is the Lacie six big Thunderbolt three. I talked recently 
how I deal with storage, so you can check out that video. Um, but it's Thunderbolt 3, it is RAID. I have over 40 terabytes of storage, and because it is Thunderbolt 3, it is super fast. So the flow of my projects, because I am in between three different setups, so it's pretty much like 30% Mac OS and 70% Windows in between my desktop at my office and also my laptop when I'm traveling. I keep all of my current projects just on my desktop. And when I'm finished with them, I move it to the six big or I move it to the NAS at my office. I put it in a folder here that is titled copy to NAS. And then on my NAS, I have a folder titled copy to six big. Is this getting a little bit complicated? And when both things are in both locations, the NAS and the six big, it just moves to a normal 2019 folder um, and we're good to go. We have two copies of everything everywhere and it's really easy to pull up old projects, old footage if I need it because it's just a direct connect Thunderbolt 3 to the iMac. So it's a good setup. Okay, so moving on we have, oh, of course my washi tape. It's just amazing for everything. Washi tape, everything. I'm a sticky note person. My desktop never looks like this because, well, um, to be honest, it kind of always just looks like this. I really enjoy sticky notes. And moving on, we have the Rain Design Embase. This is the same company that makes this laptop stand that I've just used forever and John sometimes uses. Look how messy his desk has gotten. But no, this is real life right over here, right? What I love about this is it's so minimalistic. It looks like it's a part of the iMac. And then there's this little drawer where I keep AirPods, chapstick, SSDs. So it goes pretty deep. It's just a nice little setup and it's exactly the same. Aluminium. Is that how the British, British say it? Aluminium. <laughs> It's the same exact color as the iMac, which is really great. I mean, doesn't this look exactly just like it's part of the iMac? So we have the Tozo wireless charging mat that I just keep right here. I put my phone there a lot, but my phone is not there right now because I'm currently doing a 24 hour challenge where I don't use my phone and I'm dying, help me. And if you come over here, come over here. These are just random uh, desk organizers from Container Store. Pretty sure this lamp is from Container Store. And then we just got the pins in a container, which I think is from Muji. And then we have a 60% mechanical keyboard. Ooh, look how pretty. Um, let's just have an ASMR moment. Come here. I was delaying this video so much just because I was waiting for my Logitech Mix Master 3 mouse to come in. I ordered a white and a black from Logitech and it still hasn't come. I should have played that like tech YouTuber card. I got followers, send me a free $80 mouse. But they haven't come in the mail yet. Logitech stepped it up because I really wanted to review that mouse for this video as well. Um, so I basically just have my Logitech 2S Anywhere mouse, which I love. This is a mouse that I travel with, but it's my temporary mouse until the new Mixmaster 3 comes in because John has my iMac set up uh, for when he wants to do things, tuck this under there and just use the mouse and keyboard setup for his setup. I would totally recommend the Magic Mouse over this one or the Mix Master 3. I just haven't um, received it yet. This mechanical keyboard and honestly a lot of this stuff I just got off Amazon. Why I was interested in this is because there's a wireless solution, but also you can just, it's like a plug and play. So I'm actually gonna move this to my second setup in the office whenever I build my own mechanical keyboard for this setup. So I'm super excited about that. That'll be a whole video. So this is also temporary as well, but boom, there's my iMac setup. I know this video was kind of all over the place, but I'm so stoked. Shout out to these sick Foley desks, the Jarvis sit stand. Working. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the redoing of this beautiful space. John, are you inspired? I to, am so inspired. To things? Again, we live in New York. We don't have a ton of space, so it's fun when the little space that we have is super productive. All the links will be in the description below, and I'm also really out of breath. Up here, up here. Okay, also, um, it was a little backlit. I'm sorry, I don't have my lighting set up here like I do in the office, so it wasn't perfect, but we're out here doing our thing. Okay, let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. I'm very ashamed that you didn't do the camera with that. Do it again? Every single week. Thank you. And yeah. Holler at, at me.